Hello, Orion. Hello. Just don't chew on my phone cord again. We're good. So, next up in the rookie contest uh, playthroughs, we have Sweet Tooth CC, or Hills CC. Alright. Hey, Eric, thanks for the raid. You guys are just in time for me to do another uh, another playthrough. Yes, enough. Normal disclaimer, everything I say in this stream is just my opinion. Also, it may or may not be intermittently interrupted by cat stuff. Just, you know, just how it is. Yeah, I, there's there's absolutely no drama around this one. I don't, you know, it's I have no idea what what people would be worried about. So yeah, first hole. It's framed nicely, off the tee. Yes, that is my mic enough. Um, yeah, just gonna be blunt. The 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 tee box stuff with the the big wall in front of it. Just just not a fan. Like I don't mind you fr like. Framing tea boxes, sure. Sticking stuff in front of the tea box, usually a no-go. Um, this hole sits very, very flat to the waterline. Probably not something I would do. Like, it almost looks like like you got a lot of rain and and like this is a big puddle versus being a natural lake. Stop chewing on my controller. What are you doing? Um. Like, you frame this hole around the, the lake, and, um, like, I'd probably like to see you raise this uh, fairway up a little bit, um, and then, uh, like, bring the water up closer to it so that it comes into play more. Because it, it visually dominates the hole and then almost doesn't come into play at all. Also, this green is... Um, massive there's there's really uh there's really not really any way around it this green is absolutely enormous like i think this is the yeah especially for something you're hitting a flip wedge into like i'm probably it's probably what 80 yards long something like that because i'm i'm almost on the front edge and i'm 92 to this flag on the back it's just and it's just kind of flat like this is it's just it's huge Like, there's nothing wrong with big greens per se, but you hit a certain size where it starts messing with your playing characteristics. Hey, Bill, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. Enough. Yes, stop it. I get it. It's it's a glowy thing. I know. It's very interesting. Stop. Go away. Yeah, just the the tea box things just aren't aren't doing it, doing it for me. Um, holes framed pretty well. I like this little kind of uh, planting area off to the side. Will you stop it? God. Um, you can have these bunkers here. Um, I think you could do a better job of of showing those off. Uh, like you know, like this one probably needs to be sculpted a little better. It's just kind of like if you're gonna have all of these hazards come into play, you generally want to be able to see them from the T. You can't see any of them from the T. But yeah, I like the T shot though. Yeah, this 
this green is even more massive. This is um yeah, this is uh this is way too big. It just it is what it is. Like there you know, especially with a back pin, th like I I'm not even remotely intimidated by those bunkers cuz they're um will you quit it? If you won't stop, you're getting down. Go away. Come on. Yeah, so I'd have to hit a 170-yard shot to even remotely have these bunkers come into play, and the pin is 215 out. Yep, my apologies for general cat things. Some days he's just completely fine sitting on my lap, and he's nice and quiet and, you know, just enjoys... I guess the company, but other days he's just incredibly insistent that he needs to get his little face into everything. Generally, it only seems to be whenever I'm trying to stream or uh, play, uh, like, play any games. Like, I have company over, and he's just perfectly well-behaved, and, you know, just the sweetest, you know, sweetest thing, and, you know. And then I just want to go set up a stream, and all of a sudden he needs to attack everything that he shouldn't get into. Yeah, again, this is a much more reasonably sized green. Still probably a little bit big for this hole, but it's not egregious like the other ones. Um... I like the dramatic bunkers in front. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. Like, this one might be a little iffy getting out of. I don't know. Will you stop? Yeah, but these aren't, like, these aren't big, like, Himalaya-style, you know, slopey greens. They're just, like big flat areas with one single break for the entire green. What are you scratching now? Yeah, exactly. It, it's the green should fit the hole. Like if you have, if you have a relatively easy tee shot and you have a wedge in your hand, then like you know, as a general rule, you want your your green to be small. You know, like it, it should fit the shot. Will you stop chewing on everything? My God. Yeah, like this is an appropriate size green for this hole. I might add a little bit of undulation to it, but stop chewing on the monitor. My goodness. One sec. God. Get off. God. All right, enough. You're 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 leaving. Come on. Ow. Don't bite me. Come on. Alright. We're good. There. There will be no more interruptions for this one. <sighs> okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. This one's a... Uh, this one's a solid hole. A little, maybe a touch straightforward, but, but solid. It just, uh, this is a really massive area, and there's just not a lot, a lot to it. Like it just, it needs something. Like you could throw some trees out here. 
just anything to break up kind of the acres of just perfectly mowed grass. I don't know why this hole gives me kind of like the polish on it is solid, but it, this one gives me just a little bit of like the slightest bit of Little Brook Manor vibes, where it's just kind of flat, straightforward, 280 yards for like a to a kind of a flat oval green. I don't. I don't feel like this bridge is necessary. It's this big, massive, like enormous thing with these little kind of dainty, uh, dainty looking supports that just don't fit visually in my opinion. All for this kind of, like the bridge is, you know, three times the length of this pond. And realistically, you could just walk around the pond, you know, like on, a, on any, like any kind of real life course, they just they just route you off to the side there and just put a path around it. So it just it doesn't feel natural uh, to just have this massive bridge there. I like the whole layout. I think you could, I think you could probably frame it off the tee a little bit better, but. Yeah, this is another green that's just way too big for the hole. And it's just it's just flat. It's you know it's not as egregious as some of the other ones, but it's not doing this hole any favors either. Like, there's the concept's okay, and then the execution just kinda smooths out anything of, of, of interest on it. I I, I want to say I've seen a suspension bridge before, but I'm not I'm not positive. People have done all kinds of sorts of crazy bridges in this game. Yeah, this is more more just the same of the of just kind of framing stuff. There's it's just, you know, the hole's fine. It's just, it doesn't remotely fill the area that it's in. This bunker is a little iffy. The other two are fine. But yeah, it's a solid hole concept. It just doesn't, doesn't do a whole lot for me. Yeah, it just like th the massive, like almost perfectly flat greens just aren't doing this course any favors. Like to me, like the greens are the the soul of a golf course. You know, like you can have an okay course with just amazing greens, and that'll make like an an average hole really exciting to play. And this just kind of this kind of does the opposite. Where any enthusiasm I'd have to play this is just robbed by just big flat greens. Tee shot concept's okay. This kind of fairway run up area is just kind of a little wonky looking. Um, yeah, I mean, this one's this one's okay. Ne same thing. It's it's very open and flat and like Something's got to break up the big, like heavy, rough areas around the around the the holes. Have a good one, uh, Jamie. Thanks for stopping in.
Yeah, it's just the um Yeah, it's like there's there's some whole ideas that I thought showed potential and I just like I don't know. Like I haven't enjoyed a whole lot of the holes on this course yet. Um just again, there's Well, this one's uh uh, yeah, it's the same thing. Big, big hole area, and then you just have this tiny kind of straight, straight hole. It just it doesn't doesn't really fit its environment in a lot. Like you could build something much more sprawling that kind of sweeps from side to side a little bit. It's just kind of straight and and flat, and you know you hit a you hit a driver, and then you hit a wedge into the screen, and it's this big kind of perfectly. I think this is probably a single shape green. It's just that peanut shape thrown in there and it's kind of flat and it's just it is what it is. I could be wrong. I don't know if I've seen a tear on any of these greens yet. Hey Thomas, how's it going? Yeah, well at least this one has a little bit of mounding to it, but yeah, same thing. This is a little kind of tiny compact hole in this just massively wide playing corridor so that it just kind of looks funny. Rock walls okay. I don't I don't mind that at all. Uh yeah, it probably sits a little close to the green. Like you can get some weird wonky hops. Uh, green's a little big, but it's not terrible. It's framed nicely, but like I, I think the the really big problem with this course is oh yeah, there we go. There's a there's a wonky bounce, but that's just a bad shot. Yeah, I don't know. Like this this I wouldn't even say he like jammed it like jammed the ideas in there. To me, some of the bunkers seem a bit disconnected in most of the rookie courses. How would I suggest that they be remedied? Um, like for me, at least when I'm uh, designing a course, like like I'll, I'm looking around the uh, like the the piece of land that a hole is going to occupy, and you know, like looking for where I think inter interesting hazard locations are. Like generally you want it to fit in the landscape where if you look at a piece of land and go, oh, this would be a great place for a bunker to fit generally in like, like, like kind of upslopes, that sort of thing. Um, like if you're, if your whole, um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, I see some red slope on the screen. We, we might be, uh. Yeah, here we go. Something uh something other than kind of the big flat green. So anyway, bunker stuff. Uh Yeah, it's a little bit of like you want the the bunker to complement the the flow of the hole in a little in, in some ways. But that gets into the the presentation this stuff more than the the playing side of it. Uh where like if 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 the landscape and the playing surface kind of gives you these these uh, general like visual lines, you kind of want your bunkers to to flow in those same lines, if that makes sense. Just a minor thing, but these trees are absolutely massive. Like they're scaled way up so that they they kind of start to look funny, because like the trees over to the left are big but they're like normal sized big 
like this tree here becomes like you know Disneyland tree of life big like that's that's a massive tree and yeah there's like I'm all for the the polish and like you know smoothing stuff out and, and making the terrain your own but I think it's like the smoothing's definitely overdone on this course so that almost like a lot of the things that could be interesting to play on are just removed okay, to me it feels like one of those those country you know like the 90s boom country club courses where you know, like they're they're nicely manicured and like very well maintained, but they just like they're just flat and like you know built around houses and just don't have anything of like any playing characteristics or you know it's, or they're just kind of like it's pretty but it's just dull. Like this hole is this hole solid. Still love to see a little bit more land movement here, but outside of that, like. You could pro and if you raise these hills up a little bit, you could raise that hill up a little bit and maybe like drop the land in front. I think you have a great hole here. Hole needs like especially for a short par three, you want a little bit more movement in these greens. Because like even even when you hit a bad shot, it's still pretty trivial to recover and you know salvage a score. Like I don't I don't generally feel like I've ever been in any trouble around here, or or I I don't know if I'd really even be able to find any trouble around here. The worst thing you can do is like I guess I hit it in the one, the, you know the one place water comes into play. But other than that, I mean, none of the bunkers are particularly scary. They're all on the flat side. The greens are very flat. Like, there's no... <laughs> Good point. Fair enough. Just trying to keep the, uh, the review about the courts. You don't need any other... Uh, anything else uh, in here. Yeah, that's kind of what it feels like, Dion. Of this is a uh, like if if you just threw some houses around all of these holes where the empty spaces would be, it feel like any kind of real estate driven country club course. Yeah, again, it's the same. Uh, you know, I don't really have anything new to add on this one. It's kind of the same issues. It's funny. I thought the uh, like the first couple holes were were solid and just need some some tweaks and stuff. But uh, the further we've gone, I th feel like the further we've gotten from from like uh, you know some interesting golf concepts. Like I thought the first couple holes just needed a little bit more polish, but the ideas were there, and it's just it's almost getting like there's just less and less substance to the to the holes as we go we're getting to the okay everything's flat it's just kind of a little like straight narrow hole that all right we have some tears on this green that's definitely a, a step up i think again green's massive like you could take the like one of any the you could take either of these tiers and cut those in half the same way that you did this one and then that would probably be an appropriate green size for this hole it still might be on the big side but it would be an appropriate green yeah where it's like i made like tons of like you know because i'm just playing golf on autopilot and uh and playing horrible golf whereas like more on that fells I didn't think was overly hard, but I definitely made a lot of bogeys around there. Um, 
and a couple doubles if I if I screwed up because you can definitely find some trouble. Yeah, this hole's just too narrow. It's it's just kind of there's yeah, this is just this isn't a good concept. When when your fairway's the same width all the way down the hole, it removes any kind of strategy that you, you have for that hole. And then because you have kind of this comma comma green. Again, there's no reason it needs to be shaped that way. Yeah, the the thing with funky shaped greens is you generally want it to feel like there's a reason that it's shaped that way. Like it's it conforms to the land that it's on. Okay, anyway, so or Marlette wasn't hard, but you could definitely, you know, get some blow up holes if you if you didn't uh um if you didn't play it right. There we go. I think this is this is a like I think I like this hole, I think. Like the green size feels appropriate. You know, like visually it's again, it needs framing, but this like this is uh like this feels like a golf hole where the other ones feel like I don't again, like real estate projects. Like I never had to think about any of my shots, like you know, even like even remotely the last couple. Like that last hole, it's just it, you know, there's absolutely no thinking required. It's just an execution challenge. Just hit it here, hit it at the stick, you know, just kind of putt at it, call it a day. Yep, and we made the first bogey of the day. Yeah, I'd agree with you, Jeremy. Like again, there's there's actually trouble on that hole. It it makes you make a strategic decision. Yeah. But credit where credit's due. Uh first couple holes definitely had a lot of visual things going for it like I liked some of the framing and, and the planting and stuff it just kind of stopped around like hole three or four and 17 was good like that was a really solid hole concept I don't I don't really have a whole lot else to say about the rest of the course though Yeah, I mean, sculpt. You know, it was clean. Uh, um, surfacing was pretty good throughout that sort of thing. But yeah, just it was. You know, just kind of autopilot for most of the course. But yeah. Anyways, uh, well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, I think I can get one more in. Uh, yeah, so I'll cut the stream here and I'll hop back on in a minute. So I will see y'all in a sec.